There are three factors that affect solubility: the nature of solute and solvent, temperature, and pressure. The general rule in solubility is like dissolves like. Polar and ionic solutes are soluble in polar solvents, while nonpolar solutes are soluble in nonpolar solvents. Water is a polar substance. That is why polar substances like sugar and ionic substances like salt are soluble in water. Nonpolar substances like vegetable oil are not soluble in water, but they are soluble in nonpolar substances like benzene. Temperature affects solubility of two types of solutions: solids dissolved in liquids, and gases dissolved. In liquid, the solubility of solid salt in liquid increases with temperature. If you dissolve the same amount of salt in warm and cold water, you will see that the salt in warm water dissolves better than in cold water. For the solubility of gases in liquid, we can look at the solubility of oxygen in water. Do you know why fishermen do their fishing very early in the morning? Or late in the afternoon, it is because at very high and very low temperatures, there are less oxygen dissolved in water. It makes the fish less active. Unlike solids, most gases become less soluble in liquid as the temperature increases. When we heat water, bubbles of air are formed before water boils. It is because when temperature increases, the dissolved air boils out first before the water itself boils. In a solution of gas in a liquid, the amount of gas dissolved is directly proportional to the pressure exerted by the gas over the solution. This is called Henry's law. That explains what happens when you open a bottle of soft drink. Carbon dioxide gas is incorporated in the drink through high pressure. When you open the bottle, the pressure inside the bottle decreases, so the solubility of carbon dioxide also decreases, making the soft drink bubble or fizz. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed learning with us. For more videos like this. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification button. I'll see you in the next lesson.